Sonoma County is preparing for the worst as the death toll is climbing here in the Bay Area. In this past week alone, there were 22 new deaths compared to the last surge over the summer when the average death toll for a week was just 10 people. KPI X5's Andrea Borba joins us now from Santa Rosa where there are some sober planning sessions underway. Andrea? Well, Ken, the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office tells me that they are absolutely preparing for the worst right now. They hope that they do not have to use this mobile morgue, but they say it's here in case things get much more dire in Sonoma and surrounding counties. In a week where deaths from COVID-19 have hit a new record of 4,000 deaths a day, Sonoma County has made room for more bodies. On Saturday, this refrigerated trailer from the California Office of Emergency Services was delivered to the coroner's office. In reality, it is a gut check to anybody and everybody in the county that, you know, this thing is is serious and we just want people to regulate themselves. The county morgue has room for 35 bodies. The trailer has room for 56 more. Uh, basically, it's you walk in um, and there's rows on each side where it could hold bodies. The possibility of rapidly accumulating deaths is not out of the question, especially with intensive care units around the Bay Area filling up. According to Stanford Pediatric Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Rodney Matthew. I would be really surprised if we don't see the numbers just climb over the next several weeks. Dr. Matthew says the current spike in cases and deaths we're seeing is still from Thanksgiving. My concern is we are yet to see what's going to happen with the more recent holiday, the Christmas New Year um, break that everybody had. So my worry is that we're going to see another spike in a little while. Now, the sheriff's office says they are also preparing to take in bodies from neighboring counties if their morgues also run out of room. Live in Santa Rosa tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.